ready for the best meal I've had in a long, long time. What do you think, Benjamin Bunny? Ready to hop in the pot? I do have some nice peas here, after all. Uh, rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave, especially here are rabbits. Uh. What are we going to do, Peter? There's no way in. We'll find a way. A good rabbit never gives up. Rabbits, you have to do something. Our peas are trapped in there. Never mind your peas. Our friend's in there. I wish we'd never left our mouse hole this morning. Wait a minute. A hole, that's it. We'll dig a hole, a hole that leads to Benjamin. <gasps> and our peas. Hooray! <laughs> Why not hop in the pot, Benjamin? A hot bath and dinner is so relaxing. And this is both things in one. <laughs> now, I'll just add some seasoning. Rosemary, tarragon, uh, whatever this one is. A little bit of salt, and where's my pepper? <gasps> ah, there we are. Now, a pinch of pepper, and it's... Achoo! Ah. Dinner time! Struggle so, or you won't cook properly. I don't want to cook at all. Help! Ooh. What? Hey! Peter Rabbit. <laughs> ah. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Todd! <laughs> Behind you! Can't a fox have dinner in peace? <laughs> You! My foot! Oh! Time to go, Benjamin. Thanks. Wait a second. I need to do something first. <sighs> Flopsy! Mopsy! We should get out of here! Don't be silly. Not before we've had lunch. If we stay, we'll be lunch. Mr. Todd's lunch! Ah, ah, Peter! How could you? Bringing us to that bad fox's house! This is dangerous! Shame on you! Do you know what Mother would say? Uh, maybe we could talk about this later! Come on! <gasps> Don't move, Foxy! Ah. You've got a nettle behind your ear! Oh, ah, get it off! Get it off! <gasps> Look, one of Dad's secret tunnels. We can go through there. No way. Looks scary. Ah, oh, a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the faintest hint of a breeze in the air, and the <laughs> fragrant whiff of rabbit. <laughs> Three little pie-sized rabbits. Ah, oh, my dear, you've already seasoned yourself with a little nettle. How thoughtful and delicious. Leave my sisters alone. And why should I do that? Because uh, you never fit three rabbits in a pie. Everyone knows that. See? Peter? Well, a fox mustn't be greedy much. Maybe I'll start with a Peter Rabbit pie. One more step. <laughs> Let me out. I, I promise not to eat you. Much. Come on, we're still having pie, even if Mr. Todd isn't. You 
did it. Yes, I did. No chance Mr Todd will catch us now. No, we mean you found the gooseberry bush. done it without your map. <laughs> See, Peter, that's what comes from being prepared. You didn't need your knitting, though, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you could leave me in a home, huh? Hey! Stay away from my sisters! <laughs> uh, Gooseberry? Oh, why not? It would sweeten up my rabbits. <laughs> uh, um, a little help? <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, Benjamin, Peter, Lily. Ah, perfect timing. God, stop, Dad. We're on an important mission. We're rescuing Cottontail's blanket. But there's a storm brewing. That's why we're racing. We need to get the blanket before the storm breaks. Oh. <sighs> wow. What an amazing invention, <clears throat> Mr Bouncer. Why, thank you. It's my new pedal-powered house sweeper. <laughs> Is that a box pan chip ringer junction you're using? Or is it a simple frequency expander? <laughs> Lily Bobtail, you certainly know a lot about how machines work. Peter, it'd be a shame if it got ruined in the rain. Hmm, you're right. There's still time to help. The storm is a long way off. <gasps> I hope you're right. <laughs> OK, time to go. Hold on. You might need this. My turbocharged pocket pop umbrella. Oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, no! No, no. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> How do you close this thing? Here, let me try. There you go. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Let's get Cottontail's blanket. <laughs> Coming and I can't get my naughty ah! ducklings into the coop. Oh. Sorry, Mrs. Puddle Duck, but we have to get Cottontail's blanket. Oh, gracious me! Come back, you cheeky things! Gotcha! <gasps> uh oh, the storm! We still got time to help. Come on, guys! Come back! Oh. Over there! Ah! This way! Wait! There you are. Ah! Safe and sound. I think that's all of them. Oh, thank you. Ah! Huh? Oops. Nearly all of them. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't fixed to my body. Peter. The storm is getting really close. Ah! Let's go home. You know what my dad used to say? A good rabbit never gives up. We have to get Cottontail's blanket. Let's go. Thank you. It's fine. Hey! <laughs> 
Maybe it was the fierce bad rabbit. Well, we tried. I'm going home. No way! A good rabbit never gives up. Let's keep going. <laughs> Look! <gasps> uh, why are those rocks moving all by themselves? It's the fierce bad rabbit moving them. This way, quick! Uh, uh... <laughs> Come on! I can't, it's stuck! Cotton tail. Hmm. I know we can work this out. Stand back, everyone. Why don't we all push? Great idea. Shortcut? What was that? Uh, looks like rain. No rabbit hunting today, then. We can't get past Mr. Todd without him seeing us. We'll have to try a different way. We don't have time. Oh. Here goes. <laughs> To brave, rabbit to brave. Come on. Phew. Let's get that blanket. Hang on a minute. I smell rabbits heading that way. Storm or no storm, it's a rabbit hunting. I will go. <laughs> Got it! Cottontail's blanket! <laughs> yeah! yeah. <gasps> Whoa! That storm must be right on top of us. <gasps> That's not the storm. That's Mr. Todd! Well, hello. <laughs> Eeny. Meeny. <laughs> Miney. Waiting for Peter. Lunch time. Back off, Mr. Todd. Uh, oh, 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 ah, excellent. Uh, uh, very thoughtful of you. Keep me dry while I eat you. I don't think so. Come on, guys. What? Wait! Come back, you wretched creatures. Oh, a nut-gathering invention, you say? It needs to reach up high. Oh, oh, and pick the hazelnuts of trees and gather them all up. Fascinating, but I'm extremely busy at the moment working on my latest invention. May I present the automated tidy apparatus? Hmm. Observe. There. Brilliant! It's perfect! We could use this to gather the nuts! 
What a marvellous idea, Peter. Quite the young inventor, aren't you? Well, he spends a lot of time with me. <laughs> uh, let me just empty the basket. Oh. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> One thing. Make sure it doesn't overheat. We'll be careful. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> Automated nut gatherer. Well, well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey! What's the big idea? Looks like rabbits can collect nuts after all. Fire it up, Benjamin! It works! I mean, of course it works. My dad made it. Wow! That thing is amazing! Those are for you! <gasps> Hopping hazelnuts. It looks like every nut in the wood is in that thing. We'll be nibbling them all winter. Thank you, my radish-loving friends. Thank you. Where do you want to store them? Right there. I'll help you carry them down. No carrying needed. I'll just reverse the machine and blow them in. Overheat. It's fine, I think. Oh. Hands inside the boat, Cottontail. I don't like this mist. It feels very wet, especially around my feet. <gasps> oh no, Cotton Tell, water in the boat is not good. Whoa! We must have sprung a leak when we hit the rocks. <laughs> Quick, find something to plug the hole or we'll sink. Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. Buttons, pencils. Uh, no. Hair ribbon. Aha! Handkerchief. Uh, this is no time to blow your nose. No, but it's the perfect time to plug the leak. Oh, I see. Nice one, Lily. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. Uh, uh, got any more handkerchiefs? <laughs> What are we going to do? I'll swim to shore and get some help. Peter, it's too far. Oh, and it's too cold. <sighs> I can do it. A good rabbit never gives up. Wait! Ah! Look! Help! Hey! Mrs. Puddle Duck! Good. She can't hear us. Lily, can you whistle? S sorry, too c cold. Oh, if only I'd kept that rusty old whistle. <laughs> Wait, we did. I put it in my pocket. Yes. Uh, oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Got it. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. What a screechy, scratchy tweet for a lake to make. Oh! Help! Hey! A rabbit on water? That doesn't seem right. Follow me, little ones. Oh! She heard the whistle! <laughs> She's coming! Yeah! <laughs> Benjamin, the rope! <laughs> oh, my dear! I think there's something wrong with your boat. We know! We're sinking! Please, 
Can you help us get to shore? Of course, my little ones. Lippity, lippity, lickety split. I'll have you back to dry land in no time at all. Please, faster, Mrs. Puddle Duck. Ah. Yeah. Jump! Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. There's definitely something wrong with that boat. Wait, Cottondale is out here too, and it's all my fault. If I'd just played with her like she asked, none of this would have happened. That'll stop those rabbits from coming back. Excuse me. Ah. Have you seen Cottontail? No, I haven't seen that crazy little rabbit. Don't tell me she's loose. Oh, she'll make me wear a dress. I was sure she'd be here. Oh, she must be lost. Shrew? Shrew? <laughs> Shrew! Old Brown's heading this way. Then shouldn't we be heading that way? It looks like he's circling. He must be hunting something. Cotton tail! <laughs> A tasty morsel missed, but not for long. Peter! Don't worry, Cottontail. You're safe now. We can't stay here all night. Owls don't stop hunting till they've caught something. I know that for a fact. <laughs> rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. <laughs> Cottontail. <laughs> Wait! I've got a plan! It's risky, but it might just work. <laughs> Let's hop to it. You can't hide forever, you fluffy fools. There you are. Carrying that juicy baby bunny. Uh, uh, you'll never get cotton tail. I've ever seen. Oh, yummy. Racket. <gasps> Cottontail, you don't just gobble down a hole like this. First, you trim the leaves. Then you <laughs> sniff. <laughs> and then you. Pizza. Quick, hide them under the cushions. If Mum sees them, she'll know we were in Miss McGregor's garden. Hmm. Now, my dears. Having a nice morning, are we? Uh, uh, yes, Mom. Yes, Auntie. Lovely weather. Yes. Uh, yes. Been getting up to mischief in Mr. McGregor's garden? Yeah, uh, no. I hope not. You know how dangerous that place can be. Rackishes. Oh. <laughs> Cottontail. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. We'd much rather be somewhere nice and safe. <laughs> <laughs> Safe enough to eat our radishes, that is. Let's hop to it. This is the perfect spot. Ready to eat? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Hello, boys. <gasps> 
Oh, phew. Lily, it's only you. Florence and I were just taking the laundry to Mrs Tiggywinkle's. Weren't we, Florence? Oh, radishes. I've heard about those. Don't tell me you've never seen a radish before. No. Are they as nice as everyone says they are? Huh? Shh! <gasps> Ever get that feeling someone is watching you? I do. Maybe someone is after your radishes. What you need is a secret place to eat them. Oh, I know where. Quick! Hide them in here. Follow me. Do you think we lost them? I think so. Whoa! Oh, I, I meant to do that. This is the perfect place to eat the radishes. Let's get munching. Yeah! Yay! The radishes! <gasps> well, pluck my spines. If it isn't Peter Rabbit and Benjamin and Lily too, if you please. And what brings you three youngsters to my door? Morning, Mrs Tiggywinkle. We just thought, uh, we thought we could help you with the laundry. I'm going to give that fox a piece of my mind. I say, stop making this infernal hullabaloo. Oh, and what do we have here? I will make a hullabaloo, what's it, Mr Todd? You ate my oat cakes without asking. Oat cakes? Ugh. Too plain for me. I'm more of a meat eater. Ah, now it's no use telling fibs, Mr. Top. But my dear Jemima, to have one's precious oatcake stolen must be exceedingly distressing. Oh, it is exceedingly early. So please, let me cook you a brand new batch. It's the very least I can do for such a fair lady. Oh, well, you are a gentleman. And here I was thinking you're a no good Nick. What a silly. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Todd's lying. He's not going to cook oatcakes. He's going to cook Jemima. <gasps> not if we can help it. Come on. Uh, would you mind terribly putting this orange in your mouth? <gasps> a bit, right a bit, and fire! Yes, right into Tommy Brock's sack. Why do we want Mr Todd to think that Tommy Brock stole his cane? Because what better way to get our enemies to stop bothering us than give them new enemies? Each other! Great thinking, Peter! And there's another one of my worms! And another! Oh. oh, I! Watch where you're... Oh! My bucket! You stole it! And my worms! I most certainly did not. But you stole my cane! You thief! Liar! I will not let some blundering badger stand here and accuse me of petty theft. On guard, sir! <laughs> Oh, you want a fight? Well, I'll give you a fight, Fox! I'm <laughs> back! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> With those two chasing each other, they won't chase us! We are finally safe! The food chain is broken! I thank you. Play, baby, play! Let's hop to an adventures on the way!
come back here, you, uh, you thieving fox. Uh, uh, may, may I suggest we resume this chase after we both had some sleep? Uh, yeah, uh, good idea. At the same time, same place tomorrow. Agreed. Wait, what's that? What? Uh, that's my back, isn't it? Not your back, you lumbering oaf! This here, look! Blue thread. Who do we know who wears blue? Um... Oh, oh who would want to keep us so busy chasing each other we wouldn't chase him? Peter, Peter Rabbit. Rabbit. Ah, isn't this a great day, Lily? Not a care in the world. Oh, really? We're not going fishing. We're going to help Peter. We are? I mean, of course we are. Don't let go, don't let go. Almost down. Hold on tight, Benjamin. This mixture seems awfully watery for oat cakes. Mmm, it's almost perfect. Just needs one more thing. The lid. Oh, no, you don't. You leave Mrs. Puddle Duck alone or else. Peter Rabbit, what a surprise. And just in time to join us for oat cakes. Yes, Peter. Do stay for dinner. I insist. Now, I wonder who to have for the main course. Oh. <coughs> oh. Me, oh my. Oh, my poor nerves. And just look at all this mess. Rule one of cooking, Mr. Todd. Keep a tidy kitchen. No, this won't do. Good day to you. Dizzy duck. Thanks to you, duck is off the menu. But it's a good thing I prefer rabbits. Oh, no. He might be bigger than us, but we're quicker. Let's hop to it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Mr. Todd, over here! Stand your ground! You got no time to get away! Rabbit. But he's not sh shivering like this, Rabbit. <sighs> Come on, let's go back to your burrow and warm up. <gasps> B -b 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 Badger! Um... <gasps> Tommy Brock's in my house. This is bad, very bad, very, very, very. We'll get him out. Quick, grab the chair, quietly. Rabbits! I'll get you! Hey, get... Tommy Brock! Stop that! Lily! Benjamin! Run! Uh, where'd you go? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> the rabbit! Uh, Peter! Quick! That isn't your home, Tommy Brock! It's Benjamin's! You can't stay! Tough luck. It's freezing cold out there, so I'm not leaving. You can go and find somewhere else to live. I can't believe there's a badger in my house. What if he eats all our food? What if he sleeps in my bed? What if he stays there forever? I'd really, really like my house back. Don't worry, Benjamin. 
We'll find a way to get him out. Maybe if we make the burrow cold, Tommy Brock will move on. Tommy Brock is only in there because of the nice warm fire. All we have to do is put out the fire. <sighs> How are we going to do that? We're outside and the fire is inside. Oh no, all the way up there. Come on, you can do it. Quick, help me make some snowballs. Uh, uh. Got it! This will get him out. The burrow will be freezing in no time. <laughs> what I wouldn't do for a nice bucket of wriggly worms right now. <laughs> Oh, yuck! Rabbit food! Oh, it's cold in here! Huh? Oh. No! <laughs> ah, <laughs> rabbits! Peter! <laughs> it's working! He's leaving! Come on! <laughs> Come on, Peter! Hey. <sighs> now I'm colder than ever, thanks to you! Come back here! <gasps> Mrs. McGregor's garden, I can't look! Hmm, this could work. Now, let me see. What's he doing now? Guess he has caught. That's what. Come on! Oh, it's only you. Looked like you needed a hand. Ah, what's all that noise? Let's get out of here. Right, what do you say we make some deliveries? Oh, looks like I'll be having rabbit for Christmas after all. Let's see you escape now that I have your rather peculiar getaway vehicle. Let's get out of here. I'm not leaving the sledge behind. Oh, we weren't trying to escape, Mr. Todd. You've caught us fair and square this time. What? <laughs> but before you eat us... Oh, dear. Is that the best you can do? A few little snowballs? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm warning you! Come on. Say it. Say it. Yeah. I don't want a snowball fight! Did someone say a snowball fight? Not him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> What I call friends in high places. Mm. Thanks, Nutkin. Any time. Um, Peter, we have a problem. Uh, it's no good. The snow's too deep. And it's getting a little dark. Uh, oh, we've got to get the sledge moving and make the Christmas deliveries, or no one will have the Christmas dinner. <laughs> Idea. Oh my! That's something you don't see every day. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, Mr. Fisher. Oh, thank you. A Merry Christmas.
Cottontail. If anyone can find their way home in this, it's Peter. Oh, Peter, where are you? My boy Benjamin is the best digger in these woods. He'll have dug the birch at shelter. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> All that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nunkin. Can we keep this? Mm hmm. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>